Hello there. Today I want to show you how you can use Balabox on a Jetson Nano with a camera wirelessly so that you can stream from the camera over Wi-Fi with RTMP into Balabox. Balabox will re-encode to SRTLA and H.265 for you. And with that, we start with a 2GB Jetson Nano here. I have a little Wi-Fi module plugged in. But we are using today, we're using internet uh, from a network cable. So we start with that ground. So the way this works is you could, in theory, there's a couple of ways of doing this. You could, in theory, connect to the wireless module if you set it to AP mode. But that actually messes with the source routing that Bellabox uses. Anyhow, next thing we need is a power bank to power our uh, Jetson Nano and then a USB-C cable, and I will be using the USB-C port um, on the uh, on the power bank. That gives the Jetson the most stable uh, power supply. Cable should also be kept short, nicely and short. So one of the things is um, when, when you're in AP mode, basically, first of all, you don't know what IP the, the Jetson has got. And the other thing is where it messes with the source routing. So we will only be using the Wi-Fi module for connectivity today. What I will be using instead is a little pocket Wi-Fi router that is USB powered. And it's a TP-Link TLWR902AC. And we can use that in modem mode or in AP mode. So we got this powered up from the battery bank also. And the problem is now that we obviously we used our Ethernet port on the Jetson already. So a USB to Ethernet dongle is the next thing. And then we obviously need a network cable to connect the two. So plugging that in here now. And you can see the switch here. I've switched it to AP mode um, on, the, on the router here. I just need to get this cable fixed somehow. It's dragging the board down. Okay. So the next thing then is that we need to connect to the TP-Link wireless router over Wi-Fi. So as it said on the back of the router is tplinkwifi.net is where we want to go. And there we go. The username and password are admin and admin. They are also on the bottom of the router. It should obviously all be in small letters, so I better fix that here. And that's us locked in. So then on the left, you can go to DHCP and then DHCP clients list. And then you can see here, we have a list of devices. There's my, my mobile phone and there is the Bela box. And that has gotten 192.168.0.100. So that's what we type into the address bar now. And that's us in. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to untick ETH1 there. That's the one to the Wi-Fi router because we don't want to use that for data. And then we go into the encoder settings. And we'll uh, choose the um, Jetson H265 RTMP localhost publish live. 
Now, if you're using Larix uh, Broadcaster, then you would need to select the pipeline with the FPS that you have set on your phone because Larix doesn't tell that to, to the stream. But for us, it's fine with, with Publish Live with no FPS specified. And we're starting the stream. And Bailabox is now waiting for um, the RTMP feed. So the next thing, I have a DJI Action 3 here. So DJI Osmo Action 3. And then we'll... Uh, Get this turned on. And we'll pop over into DJI MIMO. And connect to the camera. That connection successful. Give you a view here of my roadcaster. So in the bottom of the app, we're going to live stream. And select RTMP, and then we'll uh, we'll wait. Okay, so that's uh, that's us connected here. So the first thing we need to do is obviously to select the Wi-Fi network. So it's connecting to the TP-Link router now. It's connected. Um, we then change the RTMP URL. Uh, I already had it connected in a different setup. So we're going and we put in the IP for the Bela box, uh, which is 192.168.0.100. So the full URL is RTMP colon forward slash forward slash the IP for the Bela box forward slash publish forward slash live. And the last thing we want to do is we want it obviously 1080p and we want 6 megabits, so maximum bit rate that we can, not adaptive. So we're only streaming over short distance over Wi-Fi. So now my uh, my stream is online. So I move the camera a little bit so you can see. We go over into the Bella Box view. You can see that it's uh, streaming with about uh, 6,000 kbps. And that's basically the process to get RTMP over Wi-Fi working with an, with an action camera like the DJI Osmo Action 3 or the GoPro Hero 11. I hope this helps. Uh, like and subscribe if uh, this was any good to you. And I'll see you in another one. <laughs>